Here is a 1982 IBM Memory 100 typewriter. And this is a Selectric typewriter mechanism that's been uh, modified to be able to store and uh, retrieve data while typing. It's really a modification on the Selectric uh, system. It's not, I don't think this was really designed as an electronic, all electronic unit. So it's got lots of solenoids to operate all the functions. The power supply is over here. Here's the tape drive. And it pivots up like this to go into the service position. Here's a switch bank that has read switches in it that takes data in from the key contacts and here's the key contact logic here these these things get pushed down in various combinations according to what key is pressed and then this bank of solenoids here actually operates the mechanism so this machine won't work if the key uh, switches are removed it actually has an electronic interface between the keyboard and the uh, mechanism although the keyboard is works just the same as on the completely mechanical ones and it's just got it's got solenoids on everything on each function like here to do the uh, and here's some of the read switches like you can see see up in here are read switches but everything that would originally have been done mechanically has to be solenoid assisted so let me let me lower it down here I fixed a lot of problems in this but it's still not perfect it's got a worm gear back here that moves the carrier along rather than the standard way it does in a, in a regular Selectric and the, uh, the thing that couples this, car this carrier to the worm gear had jammed because of sticky grease so the carrier wouldn't stay in place and I've lubricated it I, I've I found though that I've got it mostly working except sometimes it doesn't type the right characters and I think it may be due to a problem in the solenoid bank maybe loose connections or something so I'm gonna have to do some more troubleshooting but this is the uh, the tape head control and you can see that it, it moves the tape head along this wide tape to access documents and this controls either uh, this is for write protection here. I still don't know exactly how how to properly work this machine. It, I don't have any instructions and it's kinda it's kinda cryptic as to how you do it so I've managed to get it to store and retrieve data but I don't know exactly how to how to work it so any literature on this if anybody can point me to would be really helpful because it's just so complex let me turn it on here. So I, it, it it seems to type pretty good, only it doesn't print the right characters sometimes. See, that should be an R, but see, sometimes you get an R, and sometimes you get a uh, apostrophe. So there's some kind of intermittent. I really lubed everything I could find that might be jamming, because it seems like the ball isn't isn't pivoting properly when it does that. It's not turning properly. See, sometimes I'm getting T, sometimes Z. See it. So, I'm going to have to keep working with it. It's been kind of frustrating this has been one of the more more complex typewriters I've worked on but let me uh, let me do the store and recall sequence I'm gonna hit store and the tape drive is gonna start running and this light flashes now hit recall and it's gonna flash again see I don't know if I'm doing the sequence of it right but then when I hit auto it ought to start uh, playing back the data and it it played it back you can see that 
it's, pre it's playing back R's here, so it is remembering the proper character code in the memory, it's just the execution of it through the solenoid bank is not, is not happening right. So, I don't know if it's a bad electrical connection at the solenoids or still some kind of mechanical lubrication problem. There's the Memory 100 typewriter, and uh, I'll keep working on this, try to figure out how to, how to get it all working properly. It's like I'll start one of these things, I'll just be determined to get it working, and the more it doesn't work, the more you want to just get it working right. So eventually, I ought to get this all working like it should.